guys. Closet clean out time. I am... Matt's unloading the dishwasher, if you can hear that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna start cleaning out a closet today. I think this needs to be a spring cleaning vlog. I've really been putting this off. I've had this on my list for a while and I'm not wanting to get started because cleaning out a closet stresses me out because it's not just taking things out of the closet, it's also getting them to a donation center, which is the worst part. But I just need to start. So I'm gonna do this one first. It's the closet in my office, obviously, and it is a mess. This other door doesn't even open all the way because of my desk, and I don't know how well you can tell. Let me grab you. The racks don't look too bad, but the shelf up there is a mess of scarves and hats. My handbag shelf, don't even wanna talk about it. And then there are probably 20 pairs of shoes hidden underneath that rack of coats and then I don't even I don't even know what's going on back there. So a full clean out is definitely in order and I also need to be a little aggressive with it because obviously we're prepping for this move and everything that I don't donate now has to be put into a shipping container and sent across the ocean and I have to pay to ship it across the ocean. So downsizing is a must. It's also spring cleaning time so it feels right. I like to clean out my closets. I do it a couple times a year but this has to be a brutal clean out, you know, like it needs to be intense. I think I might have to do it a couple times. Like I'll start today and I'll clean things out and then I imagine once it gets closer to the date of moving or when I'm actually putting this stuff in boxes, I'll probably clean out again. So I'm gonna put aside stuff to see if friends or family wants it. I'm gonna pull some pieces that I think I could sell on Poshmark or send off to thread up. And then there's also gonna be a donation pile. So it's kind of be, it's gonna be like, toss, sell, keep. But when I say toss, I mean donate, obviously. I love, love, love clothes. I've always loved clothes. Even before clothes were part of my job, I love clothes. And I don't like parting with them. I do clean out my closets periodically, but yeah. Anyway, there's just nothing to do for it except to get started. So I don't know where I should start. The wraps aren't too bad, but it's the shoes that are down here that are, that are really bad because I need to um, declutter the shoe caddy or i don't know how you'd say it the shoe alcove cubby that's out in the hall that i showed in a recent vlog and in order to get shoes out of there to put them in the closet i have to clean out this so first thing on this rack renaissance fair stuff i'm gonna keep this because the opportunity to wear it comes up more often than you think <laughs> same thing for the second hanger and this is more renaissance fair stuff i wore this to my niece's hobbit themed birthday oh i can't get rid of this great start you guys this was my dad's. He used to work on a wildlife conservation. So I can't get rid of this. Winter waterproof coat that I haven't worn in probably six years. Let's see. It's a nice quality coat. I don't think I've worn it in literally six years. It's like snowproof. Oh my gosh, is this a lift ticket? This is a lift ticket from January 1st, 2019. Five years. Like the sleeves are kind of short on me and it's not big enough on me to wear layers underneath and I haven't worn it in five years. So I'm thinking this is a toss. This is an H&M jacket that I've had since either college or the first year I graduated. Again, I don't wear it very much anymore. There's nothing wrong with it. It's actually like a nice quality jacket, but again, it's like, kind of fitted and I feel like oversized is more my thing. I think this is a sell. By the way, I'm not gonna narrate every single item in this closet, I'm just gonna do some. My gosh, this jacket is so fun. It's like a leather jacket with fringy keep for sure. Another leather jacket, this was a gift from the team at Free People, it was very expensive. And it's also amazing quality, so keeping that. This is a classic, need to keep this for sure. This is a no-brainer. This is my John Ashford suede jacket that I got on Depop. This one, this one could be a get rid of. This is a jacket that I bought in August, the first time I was in Edinburgh. And I literally just went into the mall and I got this jacket from Zara because I needed a jacket that worked. So I just grabbed the first jacket I saw and then I got about 200 DMs of people saying, I can't believe you've already gotten the UK girly Zara jacket and you've only been there for five seconds because apparently this is a big jacket. Actually it is, I've seen so many girls in the UK wear this jacket. People call it the Molly Main jacket. So I only got this because I needed a coat and I don't really love Zara quality. I'll probably sell this too. <sighs> Red 
I don't have any other red jacket, so I feel like that's a good enough reason to keep this. Everybody needs at least one black blazer. I feel like I can't get rid of my only black blazer. I can't get rid of this. This is a Shenandoah National Parks crew neck that I thrifted when I was in college, and then I cut it up, and I really wish I hadn't cut it up. I cut this V in the neckline, then I cropped it, and I wish I hadn't, because I'm not really into the cut up crew neck look anymore, but I would totally wear it if it was full length. But I've had it since college and it's so beautiful. Like, look at the design on it. Like, you can't get something like that anywhere else. Guys, this is not a good start. I don't want to get rid of anything. Prologues crew neck, keeping, obviously. Oh, I could get rid of this one. Sorry for talking while I was yawning. This is, it says, in love club. Um, it was a gift from the Brody bride when I first got engaged. I'm still in love, but I don't think I need this crew neck. So I'm going to toss. I can't get rid of any of my maxi skirts. Honestly, this closet is kind of like the spillover closet from the main bedroom. So most of the stuff in here is stuff that I really, really like, although I think there's some stuff on the bottom here. This is a Vanessa Mooney, I think it's the Elizabeth romper that I saved up for for so long. I've had this for years and years and years. I had to save up for it for a really long time. And every time I saw it on Pinterest, I just loved it. It's a romper and then I got it and I realized the romper was too short for my torso, short lengthwise. And I kept it thinking I could get the crotch lowered or even get the crotch taken out and have this turned into a skirt because it has this and I haven't done that. I actually haven't even looked at it for a while. I think maybe lowering the crotch on the shorts would be hard, but maybe I could get a tailor to turn it into a skirt. But then I've also never gone to a tailor in my life. And see, that's the thing. Like I want to keep things because I think, oh, that has potential. But if I haven't gotten it tailored in the last however many years I've had this, what makes me think I'm going to get it tailored in the future? But I could get it tailored. I'm going to keep it for now. Am I being Delulu? Ooh, this is, okay. This is a little dress that I got thinking maybe I would wear it during my bridal era and I never did. It's just like a cream, silky slip dress. I almost wore it for engagement photos and then I decided to be angsty and wear a black dress instead and I love the way the photos turned out, but I just never ended up wearing this. It's not gonna lay right because I'm obviously wearing clothes over it or under it, but mm, I think that the chest doesn't work on me and this is a cell. This still has tags. Woo! What is this? Oh, this is a little Free People cottony sundress. Definitely a key. This is really nice in the summer. This top, you guys, I haven't gotten rid of it for sentimental reasons. It's from Forever 21. I've had it, honestly, I think like seven years now. And I was wearing this the night that Matt told me he had feelings for me for the first time. I'm a sentimental person, but I haven't worn it. I don't even think I've worn it since that night. I have photos from this night, and I also have the actual person, and it's kind of falling apart anyway, because it's Forever 21, so I'm gonna toss this. I love this Patagonia. I also bought this in Scotland right for NC500, because I just needed a, like a warm layer, and I got this from the little boys section of a outdoorsy store, and it's ended up being like one of my favorite fleeces ever. I don't know if you can see this right here. This is a giant box filled with PR. Are you able to see that? I need to do a giveaway soon. Let me bring you in closer and let's sit down together because I need to dig out all the pairs of shoes in this closet and make decisions. I just learned about sitting in standing jeans. I'm gonna undo my top button, you guys. I'm sorry, I'll pull my shirt over it, but I need to be comfy right now. This is so cute, I have to keep this. Red cowboy boots. I do have a lot of pairs of cowboy boots, but these ones are red, obviously, keeping. These are so, so cute, but I do have other, I have, Birkenstocks and I have Uggs. So I feel like I probably don't need these fuzzy like sheer lane texture Birkenstock dupes because I have Birkenstocks and I also have Uggs. So this feels like a pair that could get donated. Oh my gosh, I love these shoes. These are like little sling black sling back black heels that I got from Lulu's. I'm gonna keep these because they're kind of a classic. This is such a mess. Ugh! Nude sling backs from the real real. These are Gucci from The Real Real. Only thing about purchasing from The Real Real is it can be difficult to really gauge the size and fit of something because you obviously can't try it on. I'm gonna keep them. They are the tiniest bit too big, but I have stuffed the toe pad or like the toe box full of cotton balls before. Again, they're like such a classic shoe, and they were a really good deal. Oh my gosh, I love these shoes. Steve Madden again. Straw heels. They're so cute in the summer. So cute with a sundress or like going to dinner in the summer. 
little beach vacation, hot night out. I love, love, love these. White cowboy boots. Can't get rid of these. These are from Vici. I really like these too. I have a couple pairs of cowboy boots, so I don't think I'm getting rid of any of them. I think they are the most versatile, like cutest shoe. These are, oh my gosh, these. I haven't seen these shoes in forever. Holy shit, I forgot I had these. These are just like black boots with a really thick tread. I think they're from like Fashion Nova or Pretty Little Thing or something like that. Yeah, I don't know where these are from. I think they're from like a really fast fashion brand. I haven't seen these in years. Or I guess I saw them when I moved in here, but I'm definitely just gonna toss these. Oh, oh my gosh. I just found a bag that has all my paint pens in it. Yay, I'm gonna keep these out because I need to like really organize my craft supplies. This is another bag of PR. Like I said, I do not accept like probably 85% of the PR offers I get, I do not accept. What I do get, like the brands that I do a lot of semi-PR, um, I will keep things that I need an immediate restock of or like a new launch that I'm really excited to try out. And then I give a lot to my friends and family. I donate some and I also do PR giveaways. So I actually really need to do a PR giveaway pretty soon here because I have like a bunch of PR. But yeah, I say no to most of it. It's weird though because this is like a, a weird part of the influencer industry. Your address will be like sold and traded around between different agencies and so there will things will show up at my door that i've never heard of i did not like agree to receiving i have no idea how the company got my address at all and it's kind of scary sometimes my address is literally getting like traded and like sold around it's kind of freaky so yeah things like that just immediately go in like the donation or giveaway pile i'm gonna stop narrating every single item now <laughs> just cause I don't want this video to be like 10 hours long. And also I've got to make some tough decisions. Enjoy this montage. I have had these docs for years and years. Again, I saved up for so long to buy these. They were on every Pinterest board I had in 2019. I saved up probably like five months to buy these shoes. And I haven't worn them as much in recent years, but I think once I move to Edinburgh, I'm gonna wear them a lot more because I've noticed trends in Scotland and the UK as a whole versus trends in the US are very different. I'm obviously gonna stay true to my style when I move, but I can see myself wearing like some slightly different things. One, cause the weather is a little bit different. I'll notice a ton of people are wearing docks, which makes sense. Cause if you're walking on like very wet cobblestone all the time, a pair of thick heavy duty boots with a giant rubber tread, probably a great thing. Also blundstones. Blundstones are having a moment in Scotland. I felt like I was in Portland. Um, everybody has them. If I buy a pair of blundstones, I'm not saying I won't cause I might. I probably will. But if I buy a pair of Blundstones, you know, like, she is assimilating. She is assimilating the culture. So I haven't worn these very much in recent years at all, but I think I will start wearing them a lot more when I move. It's another kind of nostalgic item for me. Also, just to think about docks in general, guys. I wore these nonstop for a few years and look at the condition. Obviously there's creasing from wearing them, but the leather is shiny and beautiful. They honestly look barely worn and I wore them nonstop for multiple falls and winters. Doc Martens are not cheap shoes, but these were worth every penny. The quality is just. I feel like the only way to sort out a closet is to pull everything out. So then you can see what you're dealing with and then put everything back in. What's on my day list? Lo-Fi Beats Homework Tuesday Afternoon. Incredible. These are a pair of my friend's earrings. How long have I had these, I wonder? 
Oops. Okay, you guys, so things are already so much better in here. Top shelf is looking way better. The bags are cleaned out. Racks are a bit downsized. There's not a zillion pairs of shoes on the floor. That is looking so much better. I'm taking a break. I'm laying on a bag of donation clothes, surrounded by bags of clothes. I separated out some stuff I'm gonna sell on Poshmark. I put the rest in donation bags and now I'm just kind of laying down. Got my feet up on my closet door. <laughs> I tried to decide if I want to do my other closet because I feel like I need to strategically think about how much energy I have left because I don't want to get into the middle of another closet and then run out of energy. Well, like not energy, but like motivation to get the project done. I feel like I'm the worst at feeling really motivated. I'm like, I'm going to conquer this task. And then I, halfway through it, I'm like, it's time for a little, it's time for a nap. Honestly, just the fact that I've started this at all is a win. It's really comfy laying here. I am a little bit shocked at how much I've already pulled out of just this closet because I've always thought of this as not my main closet, but uh, there's definitely a couple bags here. So like I said, I'm being, I'm trying to be really, really brutal because of the move. If I wasn't going to be moving this year, I don't think I would be quite as vicious, but that's not where we are though. So cleaning out the shoes has probably been the best thing so far. I, like I said, I do clean out my closet every like every once in a while, at least once a year, but I don't think I clean out my shoes. I don't remember the last time I cleaned out my shoes. So surprisingly enough, I've actually pulled out more pairs of shoes than like pieces of clothing because I just love shoes, but I don't think I've gotten rid of any in a really, 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 really long time. So that's been helpful. I've also discovered a few things in my closet that I forgot about that I'm really excited to wear and like style again, and that's always fun. I feel like when you find something in the back of your closet that you've forgotten about, it's almost like getting a new thing. So that's exciting. This is the vibe right now. Doing great. Hello, you guys. It's another day. I'm in the other closet. And hopefully you can see there are two rows of shelves that are my side. And then this area is kind of a disaster. Matt and I split it. Those two are mine. And then these are Matt's. And then we share these drawers. That one doesn't even close at the moment. And then Matt has two shelves. Yes, Matt does have less space in the closet than I do. Um, and that's what we are working with now. And then, like I said before, there's also a zillion pairs of shoes um, underneath there. So you're in my bathroom right now. The closet is like part of the bathroom, which I actually don't love because if someone's in the bathroom, then you can't get to the closet. So I kind of don't like when they're together like that, but this closet is nice. This is the first, like, it's the biggest closet that he and I have ever had together, and I'm taking up 75% of it, and then an entire other closet in the other room. <laughs> this also really needs to be cleaned out. Maybe you can see a little bit more now. This closet is where I keep most of my clothes. Um, like, all of my jeans and stuff are in here. That tote bag on the floor is a bag where I keep my empties, so I can show them to you guys later. So never mind that, but I feel like I need a wide angle camera lens so that I can show you everything at once. But yeah, this is what we're working with here. Pain points in this one, I would say. This basket full of my bathing suits and this one full of my hats. And then these two, which have my pajamas and loungewear in them have not been cleaned out in, I don't even know how long. This drawer that doesn't close has shirts in it. And then most of my jeans are right here. Can you see like this section is my pants, but the Rack goes all the way to the back here, and I don't even know what's back here. It's a lot of dresses, because this is like a long section of the closet. So lots of dresses, but I don't even know what's back there. And then honestly, these two don't really need much work because I clean these out regularly whenever I clean up my closets, because a lot of the clothes that I wear like very, very consistently end up here. Let's start by pulling out things from the very, very back of this. Item number one, very, very, very back of the closet. <laughs> a snowsuit that I haven't worn in years, literally years. It's not a very good quality one. I got it off of Amazon a couple of years ago because I wanted to look cute and I wore it once and it wasn't fantastic quality and I've literally never worn it again. I regret this purchase. It was stupid. It was not well thought out. I didn't, I don't know, I like literally just got it to look cute in a photo a couple years ago and although I still love looking cute in photos that is not like i don't buy things if that's the only reason that i want to buy them anymore 
and that's what I did. So I think this is probably gonna be a donate because it's not the best quality in the world, but I think it could still suit somebody. It could be what somebody else needs. It's not what I need, it could be what somebody else needs. Oh my gosh, this dress, I love this dress. This is a House of CB beautiful dress and I'm definitely keeping this. This is a great dress to wear to spring or summer weddings. I wore it to a garden party once. Gorgeous, gorgeous light blue with little, I don't know if they're cream or they're very pale yellow, but little cream flowers, gorgeous top with puffy sleeves. The sleeves have tulle in them to help the tops puff out. And it is a nice midi length and it's got a puffy skirt. So yes, definitely. I'm actually going to a wedding in May that I think I'll probably wear this too. I love this dress. There's so much stuff back here that I can't even really fit my arms. I need to... I just grabbed a handful of hangers. Okay. This is the dress I ended up wearing in my engagement photos. It's actually really pretty. It's got like a lace bustier style top with underwire and then it's just a slip dress. This is a great basic black dress. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. This is a white sundress, which holds an enormous amount of sentimental value to me. And it's also just a nice white sundress. I feel like that's a pretty good basic dress too. What is in this? What's this? Forest green dress. I don't remember why I have this. I know I've never worn it. Probably still has tags. It would be so cute on somebody, maybe as like a bridesmaid's dress or like, I don't know if you were going to a school dance or something, I'm probably gonna sell this. I just don't think I'm gonna need, because it's not like the fabric, I don't know if you can tell what the material of this is, but it's like, it looks like an event dress, not like a casual wear dress. So I think I'm gonna sell that. And then this is the Skims Fits Everybody dress. I feel like I'll keep this one too, cause this is like, you can wear this so many ways. It's a good basic. Count the number of times I say basic in this video. I always just end up hanging multiple dresses with thin straps on one hanger. I'm sure everybody does that, but in case you don't, that's how I save space in my closet. I am, um, so like I said, it's the next day and I've been putting this off all day, but the only thing that motivated me to start back up in this closet was the fact that there's new Love is Blind episodes out tonight. <sighs> so I'm like, okay, that's gonna be my little treat after I finish this. And that's gonna help me take the donation bags to the donation center if I get it done today. I mean, he would help me no matter what, but we said like, gotta get it done today, so. It's a knit material, white dress, kinda like that. Keeping that, I think I am gonna get rid of this one though. I wore this to a graduation last year and I liked it, but I just think I, I can already see so many other black dresses that I have and I just feel like I don't need this many. This dress is adorable. I love this dress, it's so cute in spring and summer keeping for sure. I wore this dress in Florida. It is the perfect, like you're on a beach vacation and you've just gotten back in from the water and you took a shower and you're throwing up your hair and putting a little makeup on to go to a dinner. That's exactly what I did when I wore this dress. And the color is gorgeous. It's a sweater material. I think I want to keep that too. Another black, long, silky dress. I just got rid of two black dresses, so I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> this dress is so fun. It's not the most wearable. It is this hot, hot, hot pink dress from For Love and Lemons that was gifted to me when I did a campaign. And it is one of my favorite dresses in my closet, even though it's not wearable at all. But I, I wore it a couple times last summer. If you're gonna wear it, it definitely has to be during a hot summer. It's got a low back. Oh my God, I think it's so cute. Then we've got a couple sundresses. Sundresses are really good in Virginia because it's very hot in the summer, but I am moving to a place where it's not very hot in the summer. So I think I'm gonna definitely downsize the sundress collection. I'll keep some, but I think I can downsize. This is a gorgeous Norma Kamali one-shouldered dress that I wore to a wedding. I'm probably gonna keep it I'm like entering the phase of my life where I'm going to more and more weddings, which I love. I love attending weddings. I just love celebrating people's love. So I wanna keep all the dresses that are like wedding guest dresses because I am using them. <laughs> this is a dress that I almost wore to that wedding. I'm gonna keep both of these maxi skirts, but I'm gonna move them to the other closet because I had maxi skirts in there. And I feel like this is a good opportunity to do a little reorganization anyway. More maxi dresses that I could relocate. Guys, I'm not getting rid of as many things as I thought I would. I either need to get rid of all these dresses or I need to go to more fancy events. All these dresses are good. Progress. 
Do you see this? There's so much space. That is progress. Let me get these out of here. This is my wedding dress. And I don't know what to do with this bitch. It took forever to get her dry cleaned. She's very heavy, she takes up a lot of space, but she is gorgeous. Wearing my wedding dress was the most beautiful I've ever felt in my entire life. And she was expensive as hell, so I can't get rid of her, obviously. I guess I'm just gonna <laughs> move the dress around from place to place for the rest of my life because I don't ever want to get rid of it. I don't know. I don't think there's gonna be too much to pull out of here. I do keep this space pretty tidied, pretty updated. This section right here, my corset tops and they're almost all like double and triple hung but i already know like i went through this recently actually so i don't think there's anything in here that i'm willing to part with lots of things that i cannot wait to wear again you know what top i was thinking about i'm really really excited to wear again this one this is also for love and lemons top i'll put a picture of what it looks like on but it's just this really pretty yellow and pink it's got an open back and i was thinking about this the other day i'm really excited to wear it again Maybe do like a festival this year. What do I have here? My linen pants. Oh, I guess I can hang my linen pants up now because I just cleared up space. So speaking of Love is Blind, how are we feeling about the season, you guys? This is the first season that Matt has watched with me. Matt loves reality TV. His biggest comment about it is that he can't believe that the show is as entertaining as it is, despite the fact that the contestants don't have like challenges or things that they're doing they're, they literally don't do anything except just speak to each other because when you watch shows like love island or even the bachelor and stuff there's challenges or games or events that the contestants do in each episode so that they can i guess have interesting things to say to each other and then in love is blind what is this oh this is a cool body chain this will be so good to wear at a festival um in love is blind they're just like talking to each other and yet the show is still so entertaining this season, I think, has been one of the craziest, like crazy in a good way, crazy in a entertaining way, um, one of those seasons in years. This goes on your shoulders. It's very pretty. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I have a couple pairs of pants that I don't want the clasps. I'm not explaining this well. You see how these things have like little grips in them? I don't want them to damage the item. So this could totally be unnecessary, I don't know. But because I don't want the little thingies to grip into the fabric on like a leather item, I just turn the waistband inside out. A good way to say it, I roll it once like this so that way the little gripper is gripping the inside instead of the leather outside that could be scratched or damaged. This could totally be necessary and I'm a genius or I totally made that up and it's a waste of time. Ooh, I forgot about this skirt. This skirt is sexy, I like this one. Let's get back down on the floor together so I can pull out more pairs of shoes. I hope this video is entertaining at least somebody um, because I don't know anyone cares about watching me go through my closet item by item. Although I did post um, on my story yesterday this thing that said like, oh, I'm vlogging a closet clean out today. And someone said I would watch five unedited hours of this. <laughs> So thank you to whoever said that. I don't know, I hope this is entertaining somebody at least. It's keeping me on task. Like I always say to you guys, filming these things is what makes me actually do them. So it's at least keeping me on task. Lots of things that I need to make a mental note to wear more often, but not much that I want to throw out. Throw out, I'm not throwing anything out. All right, let's get into these shoes. This pair is so covered in dust. Can you see this? Can you see this? That's nasty. Ew! Oh! I don't know if I can do this. Stop. I used to have a bit of a more edgy style than I do now. When I was a teenager and then in my younger 20s, I had a more edgy style. I'm so grossed out by this right now. Clearly, I put these in here when I moved into this apartment in October 2022 and have not touched them since and they... Oh, I vacuum in here, but I vacuum in like the area I'm sitting. I never thought I, I'm upset right now. These need to get wiped down and then they need to leave this premises immediately. Wow, there's so much dust down here. Oh, it's all my fault. Ew. Oh, I just never look down here. This is where I put all the shoes I don't wear that often. So I just never look down here. I used to be so cool. Damn. These are very uncomfortable. I think I said this in a recent video, 
but I do need to work on downsizing my white sneaker collection because I just have a ton. Like I just have a lot of different pairs of white sneakers and I do think some cuts will need to be made. I actually don't want to get rid of any of them because if there's anything that I wear over and over again, it's white sneakers. Oh, these are the shoes I wore on my wedding day. Covered in dust, absolutely covered in dust. I was looking at so many different pairs of shoes, you guys. So many like expensive pairs. I thought about getting a designer pair of shoes for my wedding because I was thinking, you know, you only get married once, like make, get a really, really special pair of shoes, right? At that time, I was watching loads of videos on TikTok, like unbox my wedding heels with me and everything. And I ended up not doing that. I got this pair of shoes. They are from Steve Madden. I really, really liked them. I put a toe pad in this box. They were more comfortable. I wore them all day. I ended up being really, really happy with my choice. I mean, one, my dress was very long. I didn't change dresses. So I had a long dress. And so my shoes never showed at any point anyway. And then two, I thought they were kind of a cute, like classic style. They have a shorter heel, a very wide heel, which was really comfy. And I just have no regrets about it. So I don't know. Well, for me, I'm glad I didn't splurge on my wedding shoes. Like, I was looking at so many pairs of shoes that would have been really beautiful, but it was just an area where I didn't think it was necessary. What's under here? Show me your secrets. Oh my god, I love these boots. Total wench boots. Not extremely wearable, except in wenchy situations, but they are really cool. Definitely keeping. Oh boy, lots of bikinis. Uh, I'll do hats next. One at a time. All right, my criteria for keeping a bathing suit. It has to fit me. I have to have a photo in it that I feel good in. I have to know that it will, I have to know that it makes me feel good enough that I even feel good in photos. It has to fit my boobs properly. I have to be satisfied with the amount of cheekiness shown and the straps need to be like still tightly elasticated, no weak straps, collars need to be vibrant. Does anybody else just feel like swim skirts and like little wraps coming back is the greatest thing that's ever happened? I love a cute little like swim skirt. You know, I wanna be the kind of person who's so organized that they have all of their swimsuit pieces paired together. Like, have you seen those videos of girls who put like, say example, a bikini both pieces in a bag like a little cloth bag and then when they go to pull out a bikini they don't have to go digging around in this for two pieces they just like pull out the bag i would love to be that i'm not that <laughs> definitely not that this was i think my most worn bathing suit last year um it's from kulani kinis i believe it was lexi hidalgo's collaboration with kulani and it was this print in the bikini and then I got the matching bottom, but I also got the swim skirt in the same print. I wore this set probably more than any other bathing suit ever last year. I wore it constantly. I wore it to bathe, like sunbathe on the roof. I wore it in the ocean. I wore it, you know, everywhere. And I'd never tried Kulani Kinis before, but they're pretty good. So this was my favorite swimsuit last year in case anybody cares. This was another bathing suit I wore a lot last year from Frankie's Bikinis little boy shorts with a teeny top. This is a micro top. I think it's meant to be very booby. This is a medium. It is about the size of the palm of my hand, but I wore it all the time because I love the print. Are these the same reds? I've just been staring at them. I don't think they are. This is how much I'm keeping, which I feel like is really good because at least it all fits in one basket now. I'll put my swim skirts on top. I'm gonna kind of use the swim skirts to like tuck, <laughs> tuck everything in. I feel like that is an improvement. And let's do the hats. I do love a good baseball cap. Hats were pretty quick and easy. I figured they would be. These are pajamas and loungewear. This is gonna be a big sorting job because I like nothing more in the entire world than being comfy. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Why is there an empty bottle of men's spray deodorant in my comfy clothes basket? What's my day list doing? Mountain music crunchy afternoon. She's living in a room. 
You guys want to see? Summa cum laude, baby. Took every ounce of my sanity, which I lost numerous times, and now doesn't serve my life at all. If you're in college watching this, I'm a former academic validation girly, and when I say I put everything I had, unmedicated, undiagnosed, on the brink, two suicide attempts, put everything I had into this degree and all of my honors and I graduated summa cum laude a year early and does that help my life any at all now? No. So if you're killing yourself for good grades, please don't. And if you feel bad about your grades, it's not going to matter to you in a couple years. Apart from like your first job out of school. No one cares about your GPA in the real world. I am proud of myself for things I accomplished in school because I did work so hard. But at the same time, it's like I definitely, like I made myself really, really unhappy for years pursuing that tiny little phrase on a diploma that as you can see, clearly must not be that crazy important because it's in a cardboard tube in my closet and I've never even had it framed. I would like to have it framed one day, I think I should, that's why I've kept it all this time, but like, honestly. As someone who used to get every single ounce of their self-worth from grades, it's not that deep. Anyway. Okay, I sincerely hope it is coming across on camera how much better this is, how much less cluttered this is, they're more organized, Especially these bins. There's so much more room on the shelves. Look how much room is on that shelf now. There's only a couple shoes down below there and everything fits. There's a hanger for everything. I'm really happy. This is definitely no joke. I'm really happy that I'm doing this. I think right now I just need to get all of the donation clothes out of the house and actually to a center because while the clothes are sitting around in bags everywhere, I still feel like overwhelmed because they're still in my house. So this is <laughs> the pile of bags that are going to the donation center. Matthew, anything to add? Shocking, isn't it? I've done a good job though, haven't I? You have to do yours soon. Think we can carry in one trip? No. No? <laughs> this is the state of the lovers. Yeah, it's for lovers. Taking the bags to the donation center. And then when we get home, Oh yeah. It's on. We Love know. is Blind is on. Who are your favorite and least favorite people on the show at the moment? So we have seen, at the day of recording, we have seen everything that's out so far. I think there's nine episodes out at the moment and episodes 10 and 11 just came out today. So try not to give any spoilers away because the show is very much still ongoing, but All faves right. and least faves. Okay, this is a bit embarrassing, but I, f I don't want, to, I, we've been watching the first season too because we got the anticipation to wait made us kind of want more of that show, so we ended up watching the first season, and I'm kind of unintentionally bled in the two oh, okay. characters. Okay. So give me one second to remind myself of the specific people that I'm recognizing. It is obviously enjoy the che the Chelsea Jimmy. Yeah. Drama is unreal. <laughs> Love it. The entrepreneur, business, developer, manager, uh, I forget his name. He's one with the blonde hair. Oh yeah, what are their names? So this is what I'm saying, like give me, give me. Give yeah, me I don't, okay, I don't remember their names either, but you're talking about, it's Jeremy. Jeremy. And the, he's with, who, what is her name? It's not Sarah Ann, he's not with Sarah Ann. He's not with Sarah Ann. But there was just, but there, but. Something happened in that. But maybe he was with Sarah Ann. <laughs> you were sitting in a parking lot, talking with Sarah Ann, until five in the morning. That was honestly one, unbelievable. One of the best 
like conversations in reality TV. <laughs> and now we're at the point where all of the promo she, got him. she did get him. All the promos for the episodes that have come out today include this one scene where Chelsea is yelling at Jeremy and she's like, you fucked her! I know you fucked her! And we don't know, who did he fuck? We don't know, we're finding out tonight. I'm almost more invested in like the disasters than I am. The happy couple? <laughs> Which is poor of me, but... I mean, it's, it's we all do where it. my attention's at just now. We all do it. Oh yeah, who's actually going well? Johnny and, um, huh, what are everybody's names? Yeah, pause it and let's go have a look at the <laughs> We need to look at people's good. names. Oh, we did just see the Ken and Brittany thing. He was on his phone too much. Oh. That was such an interesting development because I really believed in them. Yeah. Like coming out of the pods, I probably believed in them more than I believed in anybody. They so were the like cool. um, quite religious couple, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought they seemed like they just they seemed so well aligned. They really, really did. Yeah. I don't know. The, yeah. You fucked her! I know you fucked her. We've been saying that all day. I, I can't wait to find out what, what that's oh, what that is. Cool. You're doing a really good job, honey. Thanks. Okay, we successfully dropped those off. I'm really happy that they're out of the house. And I feel like... <laughs> what was that? He was telling me to honk so I get him honk. Aww. What did he yell afterwards? He's like, that's my guy. <laughs> I thought he said, that's my dad. No, I was like, yeah, He said, that's, that's my, my guy. guy. That's cute. It's nice to know that the young generations are still asking people to honk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wholesome. Or wave. Or wave, yeah. So we just dropped those off. And I feel like two days is a pretty good span of time to clean out the closets and get the bags for donation center. So there's also, back to Love is Blind, there's mm. AD and Clay. I like AD, I don't like Clay. She, she seems very nice. She people does think actually. she, people apparently, I saw on Instagram, think that she was flirty with the other guys in the DR. I didn't think she was necessarily flirty. I thought all the other guys were tripping over themselves to speak to her at every given moment. Um, possibly, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't, wasn't there, but from what I saw, I didn't, I didn't think so. Um, and then tell us your feelings on Jess, because Jess is back. Uh, I, I thought her interview after she'd obviously like had a couple glasses of wine and there was a little girl talk was, oh. it was just like so real and it was just quite fun. To, when like, she was like, yeah, what, she, what, was, what was she, she saying? She met up with- She met up with the, the blonde. One, the one that's with- With Jeremy, Jeremy. Whose name we can't remember right and now. They, um, they went for drinks and they were just having like some girl chat and then it looked, and then um what was it a couple of glasses of wine later she had, she'd she obviously like, like they'd obviously like hung out had some wine together were enjoying each other's company and then at the very end of the evening it looked like they'd like asked her for an interview she, she was, was just like look saying, at me like saying a lot without saying i'm jimmy's type like all jimmy's ex-girlfriends look like me i mean listen just a, little, a little wine talking do I like her as a person? Mm, maybe not. Do I think she was born to be on reality TV and she's everything this show needs right now? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Do you like strong personalities in women? Yes. I'm just so ready. Like, here we go, you know?